Today I'll be participating in a collaboration. This is the Christmas Dollar Tree DIY Challenge. We will have host Stacy with Styling with Stacy. We will have host Penny at, at Penny's Place. And last but not least, we will have CCW. DIY Designs by CCW. So today I got some ornaments here from Dollar Tree. They're just clear. I'll be using Mod Podge, Tacky Glue. I'll be using some glitter. You can use any color or glitter of your choice. I'm using rose gold. And I have some bling wrap. They have this at Dollar Tree too. I've got the silver and the rose gold. I got this pack of decorations from Dollar Tree as well, and I picked up some of their artificial snow as well. I'll be using these to decorate the ornaments that I'll be making. So let's get some decorating done. First thing I wanna do is put some Mod Podge inside of my ornament. And I have a foam brush. You can get this from Dollar Tree as well. I'm just smoothing it around and making sure the coat is even. And the next thing you want to do is pour your glitter inside. And it came with a top, so that was very convenient. All I had to do is shake it around and make sure the glitter got on every part of the inside of the ornament. Now you will have to wait and let this dry, but once it's dry, you can put the top back on. And I just have one more thing I want to do. I want to just hot glue a little piece of bling wrap around this cap. And that's it, really simple. This is ornament number one. Now this one is in the shape of a light bulb. I'm just putting some hot glue on. And I'll be adding, as you can see, bling wrap. Little strips that you can cut. Now once I'm done with that, I want to add some snow decorations to this one. So I will need my Mod Podge. And I'm just going to take my foam brush and coat the Christmas ornament with the Mod Podge. And that's Christmas ornament number two. Now you can do the same technique as we did in Christmas ornament number two. And before it dries, just add a little glitter. And to give it an even different look, I'm gonna add some bling wrap. And that's how I did Christmas ornament number three. All right, so for Christmas ornament number four, we're gonna add some more of the bling wrap. You can just cut it to size.
And now we're going to use these Dollar Tree tube rules. I think that's what they're called. They're little shiny, cute tubes. And I'm going to use my Mod Podge and just section off what area I want to cover the decorations. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, I'm trying to fill in that little space right there. And I think I got it this time. All right, so I'm not gonna do this for the entire ornament. I'm gonna just fill in the rest of it with bling wrap. Alright, so what I'm going to do since I've filled it in is take my scissors and just cut off the extra hanging little pieces as you see here. And now for my fifth ornament, I'm just going to take some bling wrap and put it in the center and hold it together with the hot glue gun. And I'm just going to take my Mod Podge and cover the ends. And I'll just dip these ends in that gold decoration you see in the plate here. Alright guys, I'm going to leave the playlist in the description box. Make sure you check out the other ladies' videos. Now that I've got my ornaments made, I just want to pretty much finish decorating them by making sure I put that bling wrap on the top of each ornament that has a top, just to make it have a little bit more bling. And of course I had to add extra bling, so I put a little piece of bling on the front of it. You can get diamond pieces from Dollar Tree as well. This one was one I did previously. I just covered it with the glitter. And now I'm adding bling wrap to it. I really hope you enjoy it these Christmas ornament ideas. I enjoyed this challenge. Thank you so much Stacy, for inviting me into the collaboration for this particular challenge. And guys, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you have not been over Make sure you go and look at the other ladies. Check out their challenges and their DIYs. This was such a fun collaboration. And I enjoyed it so much. I hope you did too. Thanks again. And I will see you on the next one.